Hi everyone, my name's James Ivey from Antelope Audio. In previous video tutorials, we've shown you how to install and register your new Antelope Audio interface. In this video, we're going to look at getting some lovely sound out of your shiny new interface when it's hooked up to a Windows 10 PC via USB. Let's get on this. You should have already installed both the driver software for your specific interface and the Antelope Audio Launcher software. If you haven't, then you should check out those videos in the series before proceeding. First, we need to make sure the PC is seeing the interface, in this case, a discrete 8 Synergy Core, by going to Control Panel, Hardware and Sound, and select Sound. If our interface is listed, then we're good to go, and in this case, it is. If it was not there, then we would need to return to the support pages on the Antelope Audio website to download the driver again and install it. This can also be done from the Antelope Audio Launcher. One of the first things you may wish to do is to make your new interface the output for all your system sounds, including iTunes, Spotify, your other streaming services, and any video playback such as YouTube. Back in the control panel, select your interface and hit Set as Default, then hit OK. Windows applications will not automatically pick up the change in device settings, so you'll need to restart them. There is sometimes an issue with multi-channel audio interfaces and the ASIO interface format, where an inappropriate number of output channels are automatically selected. This in turn can cause no sound to be heard on playback. Back in Control Panel, Hardware and Sound, Sound, select your interface and click Properties, then click the Advanced tab. You will see that Windows is allowing the maximum I.O. count for this interface under the USB connection format. For stereo output, which is what most of us use, Click the drop down and find a two channel option with the sample rate you require, normally 44.1 or 48 kilohertz. Then click apply, hit OK and OK. Also remember, some applications like the Adobe Creative Suite have their own audio preferences which can override the system settings. So if you find that the sound from your Adobe Premiere projects are not coming from where you expect, this could be why. Now turn down your headphone and monitor outputs, just to make sure we don't damage anything, and connect your active speakers or power amp. You can also connect your headphones. Now start some tunes and ease up the volume. You should start to hear playback very soon. If you don't hear beautiful music, don't panic. It could mean that your routing is not configured correctly. Head to the launcher and start the control panel for your device. Make sure that the input is getting to the control panel, you should see the channel meters bouncing up and down, and bring up the level slowly. And we have music. However, you didn't just buy your Antelope Audio interface to route the system sounds through it. You want to use it with a DAW. We do have some more DAW specific tutorials that give you more detailed instruction in how to set up your audio interface. But for now, just remember that you need to tell your DAW to route its audio through your new Antelope interface. We are showing this process in Pro Tools, but as said before, we do have more detailed DAW specific getting started tutorials, so be sure to watch the video for your chosen DAW. It should be noted at this point that Pro Tools in particular does not play nicely when the audio interface is being used for system audio. For this demonstration, we've routed the system audio back through the internal sound card. A good way to check your DAW is working is to route a click track to both the audio outputs and to the headphones. You can have these on the same output assignment or different if you wish to create specific headphone mixes from your DAW. So I hope you enjoyed that and found it useful. My name's James Ivey and I'll see you again very soon. Hey.